Hey guys, it's Brandon from Tailwater Outfitters and today we're going to be tying the EP Mud Minnow. <laughs> Alright guys, so the EP uh, Mud Minnow is a great fly to throw uh, in the winter time. You know, when your bait fish uh, that are still around are really, really small. If you're seeing, you know, small pinfish or small mud minnows around a, a mud flat or a sand flat or even on a grass flat. Um, this is a really, really good pattern to kind of mimic those small bait fish. Um, it's also a really good pattern that your snooks start looking at, you know, early February when they kind of poke their noses out of wherever they come from and, and show up in the creeks. Um, so it's a really, really good, you know, small bait fish, upper Tampa Bay, get up into Hudson, um, you know, even around clear water in the kind of winter into early spring pattern is a, is a good time to use this one. All right guys, so the hook we're going to use is a Gamakatsu SL12S 1X short. That's a mouthful. That's alright. And one knot. Uh, so you can start your thread really kind of anywhere. You just want a good base covering up the hook shank. I'm going to go just past the hook point and then come back to where my thread's sitting right at the hook point here. Uh, and then we're going to use our first material, which is kind of the tail and the body. It's going to be EP Foxy Brush, 3 inch, and a sand. So, one of the keys to tying this fly, um, you know, if you just tie in the material straight on top of the hook shank um, and don't leave yourself a little tail in the back, uh, it'll kind of have this weird little gap in the back of the fly that you don't necessarily want. So what I like to do is just make sure that we have some of that material coming off as like a small tail. And I'm actually going to trap that with the thread and then come back forward. And we're going to wrap that to about halfway to slightly past halfway up the hook shank. Um, and you can palmer this up. You don't need a ton of material on this fly. You keep it fairly sparse. Sparse is always better, especially for a spooky Tampa Bay redfish. And as I'm palmering, I'm just kind of using my fingers. You can use a brush to just pull some of that material out and get it situated where you want it on the hook. I'm going to take probably one more wrap here and then trap it. Come in with your trusty flush cutters those out and then this part's kind of important here I'm just going to take my brush and just get all of those trap fibers out just make sure we get a good thorough brush in here just so that flies nice and uniform and we can get it to swim the way we want it to pull all those fibers back and we'll just trap some of those fibers and cover up that little bit of wire brush we have left the next material we're going to use it is the EP minnow head, an inch and a half, and this is in shrimp tan here. We'll just trim a little bit of that wire, excess wire out that we don't need. Get that good and trapped, and we're gonna go to the eye of the hook with our EP minnow head. Uh, this stuff is a, definitely a thicker brush from EP, so you really only need you know, two, maybe three wraps of this stuff to get you a good bait fish head on the fly. Again, we'll trim that out with our flush cutters here and brush. So what you'll find when you mix these two brushes together is you'll get a really, really nice bait fishy profile, um, but also you're not going to get a lot of bulk out of this fly, uh, and you get a really nice simple two material fly that fishes extremely well, especially with our, uh... sorry I broke my thread, let's try that again, start over, especially with our spooky wintertime fish. This is a, a great little bait fish pattern and they do see a lot of mud minnows and small pinfish this time of year. This is a good pattern to mimic that. 
Make sure you get that wire covered up. And then we will whip finish this. Trim that. And then you want to trim just a real light trimming here because we're going to put some eyes on this. Um, and this fly fishes really well with either the blue pearl or the chartreuse bait fish eyes. Um, I have the blue pearl ones already here, so we're going to use those. So you want to trim this post to where it's fairly flush. And then we'll use our super glue just right on the side of the fly here. And we'll put that eye straight on the dot of super glue and push down to the hook shank. You do this with your scissors so you can get a nice uniform press and get it really stuck to that hook shank there. It's going to keep that eye on that fly you know, through more than one or two fish. And you don't want any wiggle on these, these bait fish eyes. You want them really stuck to that hook shank good. So make sure they don't pop up, don't have a lot of movement or give to them. Do the same thing on the other side. Bait fish eye down. All right, and then once you got those eyes stuck, I'm going to give it just a nice little trim. And then we're going to get real artsy on you with this pattern just to add a little flair to it. Um, we're going to take a brown Sharpie here and just kind of throw some shad dots into this pattern, just kind of give it a dab all over the place. Uh, and this is really going to give you your kind of mud minnow coloration to this fly. And don't tell Branson that I told you, but this is his favorite fly to throw in the one specific area that he really likes to fish a lot. You have to come in and ask him what that is. I won't air it out on YouTube. And once you're satisfied with that kind of barred look and how that is set, you're ready to go fish. And that, my friends, is the EP Mud Minnow.